Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Lab SQL injection union attack, determining the number of columns returning by the returned by the query. Okay, so this is a practitioner lab. This is practitioner level. Let me zoom in. Yeah, I think this is good enough. Yeah. So here, uh, let me read this. This lab contains an SQL injection vulnerability in the product category filter. Okay. The results for this query are returned in the application's response. So you can use a union attack to retrieve data from other tables. Okay. The first step of such an attack is to determine the number of columns that are being returned by the query. Okay. You will then use this technique in subsequent labs to construct the full attack. Okay. Fine. To solve the lab, determine the number of columns returned by the query by performing an SQL injection union attack that returns an additional row containing null values. Okay, fine. Uh, well, moreover, for this particular attack, we don't need any burp suit. This everything what we do is in the URL. Okay, the payloads, what we add and all everything is from URL itself. Let me hit on this and open i have opened in a new tab obviously it will take some time to load because this is unique here you can see right a unique string will be created and every time we solve it we open it okay fine here we can clearly see okay what what exactly the lab is expecting us to do so it is expecting us the result from the queries are returned in the applications response so you can use an union attack to retrieve the data from other database okay the first step of such an attack is determine is to determine the number of columns okay we need to determine the number of columns that are being returned by the query so okay here when i uh, click on any of these so it is going as a query okay when i hit on pets here so here you can see so this is going as a query okay so what we will do now we will check how many columns we got in this particular response when we hit on this pets so for that just hit inverted comma space union space select space null hyphen hyphen so rather than giving a space here i would encourage if you give plus basically or this is a url encoding kind of thing just if we hit this way and let me hit enter okay this says internal server error okay so what this is so this union is concatenating this particular query into this response okay when we hit on pets so we will basically get a response there so with that pets response we are concatenating i mean we are uh, we want to add some more uh, data like this with the union command here uh, or uh, sorry the union query basically what do we say in sql language so when we give one null here this means uh, there are so many uh, what do we say uh, columns so how many nulls means those many columns so as we have written only one null here we got an internal server error so let me put one more null by adding a comma a new ll and hit enter so again we got an internal uh, server error let me add one more comma a new ll and hit enter yo see we got the all the uh, rows this means this particular response contains three uh, columns see whenever we want to concatenate two different queries and we want the result in one uh, response one response then the first and foremost thing what we need is that 
we need the columns to be same okay the result the existing uh, response should be the should have uh, three columns here in this particular case the existing response has three columns and we want the uh, we want to concatenate the uh, other response as well into this only so this is how we can solve this lab okay so obviously it has asked that to solve the lab determine the number of columns returned by the query by performing an sql injection union attack that returns an additional row containing null value yeah we have already solved that so congratulations have a great day